Hello and welcome to this uh, tutorial brought to you by ModernCakeDesigns.com. Today I'm gonna be um, showing you guys how to retrieve data from a database. Pretty much, uh, let me show you exactly what I mean by that. Um, in my database that I created, it's called Get Data. Using um, I have I use Exam on my uh, iMac, and I made a database called Get Data and a table called Get Info with three fields. Now the three fields are ID, name, let me zoom in so you can see, sorry, you can see my second screen up there, ID, name, and comments. Okay. I want to do is I want to grab this data from this database because it's not on my page as you can see. There's all it is, there's um, HTML tags and PHP tags. So if I were to run this into my web browser like I have here, you see nothing. Now what I want to do is I want to grab this from here and put it into this web browser right here using PHP and MySQL. So um, let's get started. Okay, so um, here we go. The first thing we're going to do obviously is connect to our database. The way we do this is by as follows. You go MySQL, connect, and we type in our host which is localhost and then we put a comma and we put in our uh, username which is root for localhost and password since I don't have one I could just put nothing or put two quotation marks with nothing in it doesn't matter and that with a semicolon next I'm going to select my database so I'm going to go mysql spell that right no sql underscore select db and I'm gonna just put quotation, sorry, I'll put double quotes in here. And I'm gonna type in my database name, which is, I believe, get data. Yes, it is, I remember. And end that with a semicolon as well. Now we're going to get our, our table, which has our information in it, because we could have our database, but we don't know what's in our table. So let's make a variable called SQL which equals uh, my SQL query and then in capital letters well first put quotation marks and in capital letters type in select and put a star and space then from and then you put your table name which is for me it's get info and then from there you put caps again and you put order by ID ascending which means it'll go down from one to whatever alright and then I'll close that with a semicolon as well now what I do what I like to do is I like to put my fields my three fields that I have in my database in and um variables so it's pretty much the same but I don't know I just like it better because I know that all every time I put in this variable it's gonna be the same so I won't mess I won't mess up a letter or something like that unless I mess up the variable name okay so there you go got those in there and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put um, I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm gonna do right now. All right, so I'm just gonna say echo. Um, put quotes. I'm gonna say name, and then I'm gonna put a period to concatenate everything or put everything together. And then I'm gonna say rows. Well, first I have to make a variable called rows, which would equal MySQL fetch soch and in here I'm just gonna put in that variable SQL and close that now what this pretty much is is rows is the rows that we have the three fields MySQL it's gonna fetch it associated with the table that's in the SQL and okay so now I can continue what I was doing 
I could, um, sorry, uh, rows. And then you put, um, square brackets, and you put in the, sorry, you could put in the word ID with quotation marks, or you could just put in the variable that you made is ID. You don't need quotation marks for that, or single quotes, whatever. And then I'm just going to add another period because I want to continue adding stuff. And I'm going to add a break. So break. And then I'm going to add some comments or comment. And I'm going to add another, whoops, another period. And then I'm going to add a rows square brackets and then comments okay and then you end that with also a semicolon as well let me just separate that from that actually separate that from that too all right so let me just save this file save save into my folder now if i go into my you know what this page right here says data on it if I refresh, you'll see name and comment. What I put in here, oops, where the name is, I put ID. I want it to be name. Because as you can see, when I put ID, it shows the ID number, which is one. And if I refresh, now you see my, my name and then the comment, right? 